Precious moment between mother and son. Precious moment between mother and son. Nah. That song is called Precious Moment Between Mother and Son. So every day before Baby Johnny goes to bed, uh, Cassie gives them the option. We can watch a few minutes of a show, I can read you a book, or you can play a game on the Kindle Fire. And uh, lately he's been playing games on the Kindle Fire, and tonight he's playing Stupid Zombies. Sweet dreams, son. Sweet dreams. It sleep well him, after this. It makes him feel powerful to sleep, like, after he just pretty much saved the world. He so. is. He's saving the world right now. I mean, that's kind of what's happening. <laughs> Cassie, you're ready for bed, too? Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't done anything since I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> it's been one of those days where, like, you just never get out of your pajamas. And some days, like, those days are really great when you choose for that to happen. Today, like, this is, this is kind of just what's happening. I'm okay with it. Because being pregnant is really hard. <laughs> well, I told Cassie, I said, please don't do anything today. So I'm going to take a little bit of credit, but not much. Because even if I didn't want her to do anything and she wanted to do stuff, she'd still go out and, and do stuff. But... She, uh, she, and, and I wish, I wish I, for the next two or three months, every day would be like today. I got home, toys were everywhere, she was in her PJs, dinner hadn't been made, and she apologized. She's like, Justin, I'm so sorry. Dinner's not made, toys are everywhere. But that's the way it should be. She's growing a baby. She doesn't need to be doing stuff all day. Sometimes I'll come home and the floor's been vacuumed and dinner's ready and stuff. I would grow a baby. You don't got to do all this. Just grow a baby. Just chill. Just, just chill out. You got the rest of your life to do all those things. Just for a little while, just chill. Get your relaxation on. But she doesn't listen very well, which is fine. But I'm glad that she was able to relax today. We only have eight and a half weeks left, though. That's crazy. So. That's crazy. Like in, like in eight and a half weeks, we will have another child, like human being here with us. Is that nuts? I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> believe it. Oh, something Cassie and I have been talking about is there's a channel, um, and we met this young lady last year at VidCon, and uh, she has a channel, and it's actually entertaining and informative. And we're not vegans, but eating that way is, is really, really healthy. And you should check out this channel. It's called The Sweetest Vegan. I'm going to put a link below. Check it out. Even if you're not a vegan, check out these recipes and stuff. And the way she presents it is pretty enticing it's pretty cool stuff so check out the channel uh, subscribe to her if you haven't already hopefully you have and for me to plug a vegan channel you know it must be good you know it must be interesting so so go check it out and it's like easy to make food and you don't need meat all the time I mean there's a there's a strong argument for going vegan but even those of us who eat meat you really don't need it all the time I mean you, should, you should probably just you know <clears throat> eat it on occasion and she presents stuff that it's pretty pretty interesting, pretty great. So check out the channel, link below. How long are we having him play Stupid Zombies before he retires? And like once you shut off the camera. Once I shut off the camera. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna be up for a while, buddy. <laughs> I'm not shutting it off. I'm not shutting it off. Just kidding. Dad. And we had a great time this weekend with the E Pottle family. So go over to their channel. There's a couple of videos with with the E Pottles. There's a couple of videos with us in them, so check them out for sure. Uh, all their videos are great, um, but we, we're in a few recent ones, so check them out and the rest of them. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. But we're just, we're just, it's evening. We're, we're exhausted. It was a full day. Cassie's growing a baby, and I'm doing whatever the heck I do, which I don't even know what that is. I don't know. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's been fun. So Cassie brought something up, something that I've been losing a lot of sleep over. <laughs> If which is, what are we going to dress our baby for Halloween? Because Cassie's due date is the beginning of November, but she'll probably end up having it the first, excuse me, the last week of October. Yeah, due date, and it, beginning of November. She'll probably have it the last week of October. Well, and they know about me that um, I'm really concerned with Halloween costumes. September 1st, you got to plan your Halloween costume. <laughs> so. so Cassie's uh, birthday's end of September, so she got dressed for her very first 
Halloween. And she just found the Halloween costume that she wore when she was, what, a month old? Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive that she has it. But since we're having a girl, she said, Justin, problem solved. I know what we're going to put our little baby girl in for Halloween. So you, could, you guys can go to sleep at night knowing that we have a Halloween costume for our unborn child. Uh, so you're a Native American? I was. My mom said when I was born I looked like a little Native American child. So she dressed me as a Native American child. She, I don't know if she thought it was funny or cute or clever. but <laughs> That's cool. Um, I love it. I was just a, a young fat babe. In this very oh, costume. Oh, and now you're a skinny babe. I'm I'm still a young fat babe. <laughs> Belly. In this costume. Baby. Um, and do you then have photos? I do. Include. And. Insert photo. <laughs> Baby Johnny has decided he wants to be a cow or a farmer. He's two, it can change, but right now um, we're going to have a Native American and a cow or a farmer. I say farmer. I think you should be a farmer, <laughs> but this, okay, here's the thing. You should be a farmer. I love your makeup <laughs> jobs you do so much. You should be a zombie farmer. <gasps> oh. That, if I'm allowed to have a favorite Our Little Planet episode, it's probably the zombie one. Have you guys seen it? If not, go to Our Little Planet and search for zombie in the search thing. Maybe one of my favorite videos and maybe one of my favorite days of my entire life. <laughs> Probably like the funniest day of my life. Oh, so funny. That was the best. So funny. And I was a zombie cowgirl, so I think I'm just going to dress up as things and then add zombie to them <laughs> every year. Like, That's awesome. Maybe today, maybe I'll be Cinderella. Zombie, zombie Cinderella. Cinderella. Postpartum zombie <sighs> Cinderella. That's awesome. <laughs> so... Halloween. Halloween crisis averted. We got it under control. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. And my mom was the mommy Native American. Oh, precious. Yeah, so. Precious. Oh, and my sister was too. We're just a whole, we, we do, we do themed. I've always done a themed Halloween. I don't know what to do with myself without one, so. <laughs> Maybe he'll be the farmer and I'll be the cow. Oh, there you go. A zombie cow. I don't think you're going to go out if you have a baby. I don't think you're... You don't have to go out to dress up for Halloween. <laughs> You'll dress up I'm and just trick be inside. I'm not trick-or-treating. I haven't been trick-or-treating for years. That's precious. I love my precious. I get one day here, Justin. <laughs> one day to dress one up. Day. You're not going to take this you away from me. You can't take that away from me. So check out The Sweetest Vegan. Enjoy these photos of Cassie when she was a brand new baby in a Native American costume. A big fat brand new baby. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I'm tired. It's only 8.50 p.m. I'm really tired. But I'm happy. Can I tell you a quick anecdote real quick? Tell me. Real quick. Do tell. Justin got off the couch and he's like, oh, it's hard to stand up. Your uterus isn't inside your lungs, Justin Evans. Once your uterus goes into your lung cavity, <laughs> You can talk to me about it being hard to stand up. After the uh, run I did on Saturday, if you haven't seen the videos, go check them out. They're fun. But uh, I was complaining about being sore, and I felt bad after like half the day complaining. She's like, bro, you're sore. So I really shouldn't complain about any body elements at this point. I'll give it a few months. Maybe a year. <laughs>